Hi and welcome to my channel and a new video. And if you are into watch related content, please subscribe. So thank you. Today on the detailed how to tutorial, we have the G-Shock GD350. So let's get started. And I'm going to start off with screen indicators or display indicators. As you can see, uh, it's not such a busy dial yet. It is still busy. Over here, you have this upper bar and it is showing the minutes or it changes with current time in minutes. The bar below it, as you can see, is pretty, uh, is much more dynamic and it changes with current time seconds. Over here, you have your uh, month and day over here and day of the week written in English over here. This would be uh, a place for a PM indicator if your uh, watch or uh, if you set your watch to 12, 12 hour time format. Over here you have your hours and minutes as well as seconds. And um, when it comes to buttons, you have your mode button, adjust, reset, start button, depending on the functions and big button over here to uh, illuminate the watch dial. Next up, moving on to this square, let's call it square dial. You have your uh, auto light on indicator. Then you have your vibrate, vibration indicator. Basically that is the vibration alert enabled uh, or disabled for alarms and the timers. And uh, you have your um, mute indicator over here, as well as your timer indicator. Basically this uh, timer, timer countdown operation is in progress when this uh, over here is illuminated. When it comes to other screen indicators, you have lit on over here DST, which is lit on when the watch is in the daylight saving time mode. You have your hourly time signal and the ALM would be written over here if your alarm is turned on, as well as snooze alarm when it is turned on would be written over here in the uh, letters S and Z. To switch between modes of the watch, you have your mode button over here and when, pre when I press it once, we have the world time mode, alarm mode, we have stopwatch mode, countdown timer mode, and pressing it again, we get to the uh, back to the standard timekeeping mode. In the timekeeping mode, you have your current time displayed, you have your time, date, summer time settings, 12 and 24 hour time display switching, and the timer display. World time mode. Uh, current time in 100 cities or 35 time zones around the world. Alarm mode, you can set your alarm time on or off or hourly time signal. Stopwatch mode is used to elap uh, measure the elapsed time measurement. And you have your countdown timer mode. Basically, uh, it counts down time so uh, you can do what you want with it. Let me show you how to set the time and date as well as other functions uh, on this watch. From the standard timekeeping mode, press and hold the adjust button until you hear the beep. And we are currently in position of setting our uh, time zone. So basically you have your reference point over here and um, UTC plus one. Uh, this plus one is actually the uh, correction based on your time zone. My time zone is Paris time zone and it is it corresponds to plus one, so plus one hour. To uh, increase or decrease that time based on your time zone, simply press the reset or start button until you get to the proper time correction. To see what are the uh, timetables for your time zone, uh, basically, uh, well, here they are, so you can find your uh, city or Pause the video and find where is your city so you can properly uh, correct your time based on the UTC time. Once we done with that, press the mode button and we move on, we move on to the daylight saving time or the summer time. Currently in my time zone, time uh, daylight saving time is turned on, but you can switch it between on or off by pressing the start button. As you can see, I'm shuffling between on or off. Next up, press the mode button. And as you can see, we are in the position of setting our time format. Currently it's set to 24 hour time format, but you can shuffle it between 
12 or 24 hour time format by pressing the start button. As you can see, it automatically shifts your time display as well as your setting over here. I'm going to leave it at 24 hour time format. Press the mode button once you're done with that and we are in the position of setting our seconds value. Now, you cannot set the exact value of seconds, but what you can do is to uh, reset that uh, value to zero by pressing the start button. It will automatically uh, reset it to zero. So let me show that for you. As you can see, one, two, and when I press the start button, it moves back to, to zero. Next up, press the mode button, and we are in the position of setting our, our value. It is currently 14 o'clock, but to move it up or down, simply press the reset button or start button to increase or decrease that value. Once you're done with that, press the mode button and the watch is now in the position of setting your minutes value. To increase or decrease that value, again, press the reset or start button to get to the exact value of minutes. Next up, Press the mode button and we are in the position of setting our year value. It's flashing 2022 and the year is 2022. But again, to decrease, press the reset button or to increase, press the start button. Now, press the mode button once again and we are in the position of setting our month value. The number 9 stands for the month of September and it is September. But to decrease or increase, press the reset or start button. Once you're done with that, press the mode button and it's flashing number 25, 25th for the, the, for the 25th of September. And it is, but again, to decrease, press the reset button and start button to increase that value to uh, 25. Next up, press the mode button and we are in the position of setting our operation tone. Is it on or is it muted? So mute it or on to shuffle it, press the start button and the watch will shuffle it between on or muted. Next up, press the mode button and we are in the uh, display illumination duration. LT3 stands that when I press the illumination button, the watch will stay, uh, watch screen will stay lit on for three seconds. So when I press this button over here, it will remain for three seconds. Pressing the start button, it will move to LT5 and the watch will stay lit on when I press the illumination button for five seconds. Next press up the start button, you have the LT1 and it will stay lit on for, for one second. So basically you can, choose between LT1, 3 and 5 in the increments of 2 seconds and that's done simply by pressing the start button and I'm gonna leave it at LT3. Next up, press the mode button and we are in the position of setting our alarm and timer alert method. Basically, there are two uh, alert methods as the watch says, vibe alarm, and it is one of the crucial functions of this watch. So you have your vibe vibration uh, alert method or flash. Flash stands that the watch will uh, flash and uh, it will go off uh, sound wise. So you have your sound and flashing to uh, uh, warn you that your timer, let's say timer is uh, has reached zero. But when I press the start button, it will move to vibration and the watch will vibrate when your timer time has elapsed. So basically, Shuffling between vibration and flashing is done by pressing the start button and I'm going to leave it at vibration. Next up, press the mode button and we are back at the beginning and setting our time zone. That was that. Want to implement all of those settings, simply press the adjust button and the watch has now implemented those settings that we have just ran through. Another cool feature that I want to show you is the automatic illumination. And basically what that is, when you flick your wrist, the watch uh, uh, illumination will automatically turn on. So currently it's turned on, as you can see over here in the upper part of this screen, the LT is turned on. To turn it off, simply press and hold the illumination button for three seconds and it will turn off. To turn it back on, simply press and hold the illumination button for three seconds and it will 
again turn on. So basically with that, you are turning the automatic illumination on or off. And after we are finished with on how to set the time and date, we, we move on to the world time mode. World time lets you display the current time in uh, any one of the 100 cities or 35 time zones. So first of all, let's, get, let's enter the world time mode. That is done by pressing the mode button once and we are in the world time mode. In this uh, mode over here, you have your current date in the world, world time uh, city. Over here you have your city or world time city and this is the current time in the uh, world world time uh, in your world time city. So uh, to shuffle between the cities I'm pressing the reset button or start button to move up and down through the uh, 100 cities or uh, 35 times or so. As you can see I'm shuffling using the start button but you can do it using the reset button also. So let's find some city let's say Istanbul and it is saying that in Istanbul it's 17 o'clock 31 minutes and 59 seconds as well as the it is the September September the 25th that would be the basics of a world time mode alarm and hourly time signal to enter the alarm and hourly time signal mode from the standard timekeeping mode press the mode button twice and we have entered the alarm and our time signal mode. <clears throat> As you can see, over here we have our uh, current time, 16.35, and this is the al our alarm time. Over here, number 5 is our alarm number. So we have 5 different alarms and our time signal. So pressing the start button, I'm shuffling between 5 alarms and our time signal. Uh, the number five alar um, alarm number five is the uh, has the uh, capability to be a snooze snooze alarm. So let's say I want to get to the alarm number number one by pressing the adjust button. Uh, sorry, the reset button. I'm shuffling between one time uh, alarm daily alarm and alarm is off. So uh, that is uh all the same for all of the four alarms so you have one time alarm daily alarm and alarm number one by pressing the reset button if i press the start button once again and i move on to the alarm number five by pressing the reset button i'm shuffling between snooze alarm as you can see over here as l and as well as off so you have snooze alarm and off take notice that when i press the snooze alarm it says snooze as well as alarm, which means, which means that both of them are turned on. Next press of the start button, we move on to the hourly time signal. As you can see, it's turned on. But when I press the reset button, I'm shuffling between on or off. And when it's on, it says signal and signal over here. But when it's off, it says off and it's turned off over here. I'm going to leave it at on. Now let's move on to the alarm number one by pressing the start button. So basically you are cy cycling using the start button from alarm number one to five and hourly time signal. So this is the alarm number number one. To set the alarm time, press and hold the adjust button until you hear the beep. So as you can see, hours are flashing and I can set the value of hours by pressing either start or reset button. Let's say I want it set to exactly 12 o'clock and there it is. Once we have set our hour value, I press the mode button and the flashing continues or moves on to the seconds value. Using the reset button again and start button, I can increase or decrease the value of hours. Uh, sorry, the minutes value. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to press the adjust button and now I'm, I have my alarm number one set to exactly 12 o'clock and it will go off one time when i press the reset button i move alarm number one at 12 o'clock to be my daily alarm pressing the reset button again i turn it off and as you can see everything is off and basically those are the basics of alarm mode as well as hourly time signal mode on this watch stopwatch mode on the gd350 
The stopwatch measures the elapsed time in units one of one one hundredth of a second up to 999 hours, 59 minutes and 59.99 seconds. Elapsed time returns to zero automatically and timing continues from there when the maximum limit is reached. So first of all, let's enter the uh, stopwatch mode from the standard timekeeping mode. Press the mode button once, twice, three times and we are in the stopwatch mode. As well as you can see over here still we have the our uh, current time displayed what are these well these are the hours uh, you have your minutes you have your seconds and one one hundredth of a second seconds unit uh, how to operate the stopwatch well elapsed time or the cumulative time is measured like this press the start button press the um, same button to stop it press the upper button to reset it start stop reset and those are the basics of the elapsed time split time well press the start button press the adjust button sorry press the uh, reset button to split again split time display cancel this button to stop it and reset button to reset it and those are the basics of a stopwatch mode countdown timer mode uh, first of all let's enter the countdown timer mode from the standard timekeeping mode press the mode button once twice three times four times and we are in the countdown timer mode still as you can see we have our current uh, time in our and minutes shown on the uh, main display we uh, currently have a countdown time set to one minute so how to operate the countdown timer well it's basic press the start button and it will start to count down the same button to pause it and upper button reset button to reset the value how to set your time? Well, press and hold the adjust button until you hear the beep and we are in the position of setting our countdown time. As you can see, zero is flashing uh, right beside the age, which means zero hours, but I can reset it to uh, any value that I want by pressing the start or reset button. I'm going to leave it at zero. Next up, press the mode button and we move on to setting our uh, minutes value. Again, pressing the reset or start button, I can increase or decrease that value. Once I'm done with minutes, I'm pressing the mode button and we move on to the seconds value. Procedure is the same. You can press the reset or start button to set the exact value of seconds. Once you're done with that, simply press the adjust button and the watch or your uh, time to be counted down is set. In this case, it's on one minute. And uh, by, again, by pressing the start button, you engage the uh, countdown timer, the same button to stop it and the reset button to reset the value. Now, uh, the speciality of this watch is that in the standard timekeeping mode when the watch is showing the time you can press the start button and it will uh, be a shortcut to your countdown time as you can see from the standard timekeeping mode when i press the start button it automatically engage the countdown timer the countdown timer is still working so i go to the countdown timer and reset it to zero but when the time reaches zero the watch will warn you using the flash or vibration function and it will get back to the standard timekeeping mode and those are the basics of the countdown timer mode this watch also has a battery level indicator and basically it tells you that the battery is low when it gets low and it will say b-a-t-t -T over here in the uh, battery enclosed uh, style icon and that is the notion for you to uh, replace your battery the battery is uh, 
lithium battery uh, CR2032. And with that, we are uh, done with another detailed how-to tutorial. This time it was the G-Shock GD350. Thank you very much for watching. And if you are into watch-related content, please subscribe. Until next time, see you.